page 41. Notes for the teacher. Units 4 to 7. 4. An Indian American woman in space. Kalpana Chavla. 1. Let children speak what they know about space and spaceships. They may also be asked to bring pictures of these, if they have any. Let them say how an aeroplane is different from a spaceship. 2. There are some words of American spelling in the text. Use this opportunity to discuss the Englishes that exist around the world. Explain in simple words how writing does not adequately represent the spoken language. 3. In working with language, help children by giving clues as they discuss and match the items using phrases in sentences of their own. 4. In the speaking activity, encourage children to collect examples of greetings in other languages or to visit the post office or look at a telephone directory to find some examples. They may even wish to send greetings to each other by post. 5. In the writing activity, brainstorm children to inspire them to imagine, dream and then write. Have a stimulating discussion before doing the activity. Beauty 1. The teacher reads the first stanza and learners repeat each line. Pauses are indicated below. Beauty is seen in the sunlight. The trees, the birds, corn growing, and people working or dancing for their harvest. Cover the whole poem in the same way. Page 42 2 Mark stanzas as A, B, C or 1, 2, 3. Let children indicate the relevant mark in the appropriate place in the following diagram. Beauty In the dark Within During the day 5. A. Different kind of school 1. This lesson addresses an important social concern for the differently abled. Sensitize learners to problems faced by these persons. You can also give examples of differently abled persons who have reached the heights of success. 2. In working with the text, let children work in pairs to rearrange sentences. They may take time to arrange them in order. If there is more than one ordering, tell them why one is better than the other. 3. Exercise 3 in working with language is to acquaint children with the use of the dictionary. Let them create their own dictionary by arranging words and their meanings covering a few pages of the textbook to begin with. 4. In this lesson, speaking and writing are given together. Create parallel activities enabling children to talk to one another and also write. Where do all the teachers go? 1. Let children read out the poems in groups of five. The first and last verse should be read out by the same person. The remaining four verses should be read out in turn by others in the group. 2. Let children interview some teachers and ask them what they do, at home and elsewhere. This may be attempted as a mini-project. 3. Tell children about your school and the English class when you were at school. Page 43 6. Who I am. 1. This lesson is slightly different. Do not teach it by reading and explaining it. Let children read it on their own and then interact. It matters little if they cannot understand every word of it. 
the lesson is about personality and confidence building children will understand the idea of multiple intelligences and how every child is different and unique as they read and hear voices of children describing themselves and see the varied type faces they will appreciate differences among themselves draw children's attention to the informal style of talking about oneself a visual is concerned with seeing painting cinema theater other visual arts a person who enjoys looking at pictures videos and movies and can create mental images of ideas can be said to have visual intelligence b verbal is concerned with speaking a person who is good at language speaking reading writing etc can be said to have verbal intelligence c interpersonal is concerned with relationships among people understanding others and their points of view and being cooperative are indicators of interpersonal intelligence two use this opportunity to initiate an extended writing activity describing persons their physical and behavioral characteristics a describing one of your neighbors b writing what your brother sister likes and you don't two most activities in this lesson will lend themselves to group discussions and open ended responses to questions let children talk freely and frankly about themselves and others and in the process discover their interests and talents page 44 the wonderful words one someone said that pandit nehru was doing with india what a poet does with words let children discuss this idea in small groups two words are all we have write this sentence on the blackboard and highlight the importance of words and language in day to day life 3 play a word game in class 7 fair play 1 premchand translation this is a story about relationships the story can be read aloud in groups parts of the story may be done through role play to the activity who says this to whom and when to be attempted without referring to the text help children recall the context in which the given utterance was made 3 exercise b in working with language exemplifies some common phrases extend it to include new items with put take get etc let children use the dictionary for new items and their meaning and use for the activity under speaking involves the use of responses such as yes i do no i don't yes i would certainly no i wouldn't really provide these responses and let children use them freely